Hello friends, this video on morphology of flowering plants part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us talk about the types of root system. Now what are the different types of roots? Now again, we will broadly classify it into two types. One is primary root system and the other one is adventitious root system. So these are again two broad classification. However, there is further classification of the primary root system into tap root system and fibrous root system. Now these are the different types of root system. Now how I mean how the root system are classified into these types we will see as we talk about each of them. So first we will talk about the tap root system, then we will talk about fibrous root system and then finally we will talk about adventitious roots. So let us start with the primary root system. What is the primary root system? Here when I talk about root system it, it is made up of roots. So it is formed by the roots and its branches. Primary root originates from a radical. So something which you see in this figure, this kind of a structure is a primary root system where you have one primary root which is nothing but direct elongation of the radical. So this is your one primary root. So from this primary root you actually have the different branches that is the secondary and tertiary roots. Again, this type of root system is divided into two types. One is tap root system and the other one is fibrous root system. So let us see what is a tap root system and what is a fibrous root system. Let us talk about tap root first. Here, this kind of root system is formed by a single primary root and its branches. So here you can see this is the single primary root and these are the branches arising from the primary root. So that is a tap root. So the catch here is a single primary root. Where do we see these kind of root system? It is generally seen in the dicots. That is the dicotic agonist plants. I am sure I don't need to explain you what is a dicot. It is those kinds of plants where the seed has two cotyledons. Cotyledons are nothing but the seed leaves. We have already spoken about all these things in diversity in living organisms. Some of the examples of dicots which have tap root system are mustard, carrot, radish, beetroot, turnip. So here if you look at these, these are nothing but the roots. So now there's something strikes your mind. These are certain things which we actually eat. So the edible part of a carrot or a radish is nothing but the root of the plant. See, this is the portion which we actually eat, right? So this is nothing but the root of the plant. So this is my primary root and from this primary root we actually have the branches. That's the secondary and the tertiary roots. Similarly, in case of a turnip, this is my primary root and from there you actually, I mean, this entire thing is my primary root. But now if you look at it, you might be wondering that I always thought the root is something which is, I mean, a rod like structure from here, thinner structures originate. Something it, it is something like how is shown in this figure. But here, if I look at this turnip, how is a spherical shaped object a root? So that is what we will study as we go ahead. That in many different plants, the roots are modified into many different shapes. So tap root system is that kind of a system where you have one primary root and that one primary root in case of a carrot or radish is this and in case of a turnip is this, in case of a beetroot is this. So this is one primary root from where you have so many branches. So this entire thing is one primary root and you have branches. Again here this entire thing which is swollen above and then tapering towards the end. So that is the primary root and from there you have branches. So this is tap root system. Talking about fibrous root system. Now the word fibrous, it is derived from the word fiber. Fiber is nothing but, I mean when you think of fiber, what comes to your mind? Fibers are some thin hair like structures, right? Some thin thread kind of structures. So that name itself defines it. Fibrous root system is formed by several fine roots arising from the stem base. 
So there are several fine rules. So these are the two catch here. In case of tap root system, you have one primary root and its branches. In case of fiber roots, you have several fibers of roots or several thread-like roots arising from the stem base. So here if you see, this is your stem. Now from the base of the stem, you see there are small thread-like structures arising all around. Right? So and again from those structures, again thinner structures are coming up. So these kind of a structure is a fibrous root system. So I'm sure that you're able to distinguish between the two tap roots. You have one thick initial root from there you have branches but here do you see anything like a primary root you actually cannot see any single primary root here as such right you have so many thin structures that you can't even distinguish exactly which is the primary root so here you have many thread like structures originating here and there and they all arise from the stem base so this forms the fibrous root system it is generally seen in the monocots, that is the monocotyledonous plants. So plants with single cotyledon. Some of the examples of such plants are wheat, marigold, beans or peas. So here you can see if you look at this pea, I mean, I mean, if you look at any of these plants, you will actually have some thread-like structures growing, arising in like this. So that is our fibrous root system. So if you want, you can actually, I mean, if you want to practically see these different morphological characters in a plant, you can actually observe them. I mean, if you actually come, if you ever come across any of these plants, you can actually observe their roots and you will see that the root is quite messy. You have some thin thread-like structures all around. So that is a fibrous root system. But in plants like radish or carrot, you can actually see that single primary root. So these, this was all about the primary root system. Now in primary root system, we talked about tap root and fibrous root system. So let us quickly compare the two. Talking about tap root system, we have primary root dominates over branches. So here you actually can distinctly see one primary root. So this one primary root becomes more dominant or it is more prominent than the other branches. But in fibrous root, there is no dominant root. I mean, you can't, that's what I was telling, right? You can't actually distinguish that one single primary root. So it is nothing like that. A tap root system will go very deep into the soil. So now here, since you have one strong primary root, so it keeps growing and it actually goes very deep into the soil. But in fibrous root, the spread is laterally. Like, I mean, if you talk about the tap root, so now this single root, this single primary root will actually keep going deep down the soil. But here you don't have anything like that. So here the spread will be somewhere like this. So it will be a lateral spread rather. So here it will spread laterally and in tap root it will spread in depth. Tap root system is seen in dicots whereas fibrous root is seen in monocots. Some of the examples tap root in case of carrots whereas fibrous roots in case of wheat. So this is how we distinguish between tap root system and fibrous root system. So with this, we end our discussion on primary root system. So the first type of root system is done. Now the second type of root system, that is the adventitious root system. So what is this adventitious root system? Here, the interesting part is Roots arise from parts of the plant other than the radical. So that is again something new which we are getting to know here. Because till now we always used to think that inside the seed we have one radical and one plimule. That radical will grow to form the root and the plimule will grow to form the shoot. So that is what our typical idea was. But that is not the case. In many plants, the roots do not arise or they do not develop from the radical. Instead, they develop from some other part of the plant. So those kind of roots are known as adventitious root system. Let us take some examples which will make the understanding more clear. For example, grass. When you look at the grass, do you see distinctly a lot of features in grass? You, you just see green leaves. That's it. That's all we see in the grass. Now, if you actually observe the root of 
grass. You will actually see that the roots do not develop from radical. Instead, the roots develop from the nodes of stem. I mean, here you have the stems of grass, right? So, at, for, at the nodes of the stems itself, the roots will develop. So, that is why they are the adventitious roots. Similarly, if you look at the banyan tree, have you ever, ever observed the roots of a banyan tree? You would have seen that this is a banyan tree and then these branches of the banyan tree actually drops downwards, it goes inside the soil and then roots develop from there. So basically these are nothing but, they are like hanging roots. You, and I'm sure many of you would have actually seen this because generally banyan trees are like very old and the big trees. So you can actually see those hanging roots. You can, I mean, it, it is really interesting to see them. You can actually see them like this. So again here also, the roots are not developing from the radical. Rather, the roots are developing from the branches of the same plant. So now here, in these kind of examples, or in these kind of plants, we see that the origin of roots are different. They do not rise from radical. They arise from some other part of the plant. So they are known as adventitious root system. So broadly, what are the different types of root we talked about? First is primary root system, where the roots develop from radical. Second is adventitious root system, where the roots do not develop from radical. In primary root system, we again have two types, that is tap root system, where a primary root, one single primary root is there, which develops from the radical, and from that primary root, we have branches. The second type we talked about was the fibrous root system, where we again do not have a prominent single primary root, but there are thin thread-like structures or thread-like roots which spread laterally inside the soil. So these are the different types of roots. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.